In this video, we will see how to set up the uh, Spring Boot tools for the Visual Studio code or uh, in the other way, I will put it this way how we can use the most popular Visual Studio code editor to, to develop the and test the Spring Boot application. So Visual Studio is the most popular and open source lightweight editor from the Microsoft and which is most popular because of the support uh, to develop the various kind of application including their front end up to the uh, cloud native agnostic cloud agnostic application so it is providing the different types of a plugin and would, the most important thing is that the uh, official uh, technology officials is providing the different different plugins so this is the spring boot plugin which is officially supported by Pivotal or the spring boot community <laughs> so first if you have the install the visual studio code it's well and good or else you can visit the code.visualstudio.com this is the website to download the visual studio code you can download based on the your uh, os variant windows linux or the mac one for for i am i have already downloaded and installed the mac one once you install you are able to see these um, your favorite editor like this so it is providing the different different options like search for the git plugins so as as to install the spring um, boot uh, tool suit we have to go to the plugins and just search to with the spring so it will show all the spring boot related things or the plugins so spring boot tools spring initializer java support and the spring boot dashboard and the extension pack so if you look these three are the required and the spring extension pack contains these three if you just install this one it will install automatically all these three okay so either you can install manual this three or you can just install the extension pack so once you install this one so you are able to see the support of a spring boot extension and how you can verify so for now i have already installed so it is showing me the disable and uninstall option so you will be able to see the install you click on it once the installation is done you can you need to restart once the restart is done you can create the spring application as well so it will provide the uh, different shortcuts so for mac we have the command shift p as option and you can just search for the spring initializer or just type the spring initializer so it will provide you the different options like to run the spring boot application or create the maven project or to create the gradle project so i'll just choose this one so it will provide me the different option for which spring boot version you want to generate the project okay so spring initializer is the replica of the start.spring.io website so here you can select the multiple option and generate the project once it will generate you can open the project and it will provide the more room to run the application like run button here or the run and debug option here on the top right side so you can run the application using this option so it will resolve the dependency and you are able to see the output here in your local so it will uh, so prerequisite is the java jdk installation is the must on your local so this is about the spring initializer so you can follow the this blog post which i'll provide uh, uh, link in the description so this will give you the more room to uh, add the dependency and how to set up the visual studio code for to download the spring boot application